I don't think we're going to get there uh, with any of the rules today. I mean, give you ten minutes. I mean, <laughs> another ten minutes past T zero. Oh. Sixteen forty. Sixteen forty five local. I think we'll probably be clear on all the rules, but uh, not oh, quite. Man. Not quite going to make it for this. All right, guys. Okay. Bang bang. We're going to check back. In we're in live. Two minutes, and then I'll call. We're going to watch about, the uh, SpaceX launch. Okay. Yeah, we got. We, the there's first some starting to count is down, the first but we time that SpaceX is going to send humans so to space. Below, I can't wait. I'm so excited for this. How excited? Mm. Oh, I got to pause this. All right. So I don't need to watch this. You got the comments. And that didn't sound great right there. That was the weather net going out, but we're so still standing by for a final decision. Yeah, but right now what they're basically doing is uh, they're looking at the weather. And they're evaluating <laughs> whether uh, they're going to get the clearance or not. Okay, cool. So tell me when, you know, I can start with the fun facts. Start reading them off. We did a bunch of research. Oh, We've got not. fun facts for all of you. <laughs> all right, what do so we have? Did you know that even if you are selected by NASA, applicants are, aren't considered full astronauts. They have to do two years of basic training when they're considered astronaut candidates so basically you get selected then you go through training and only after you pass the training you but become like, astronaut honestly, uh, and we're going to continue astronaut. to listen in for an update but in the meantime we're going to go over but to honestly, john Innsbrucker me, at spacex headquarters like in california astronaut. john okay what else you got and dragon spacex on oh, wait weather. hold on uh we're still t minus 18 uh, minutes currently. and counting uh, ld is we uh, are still, still red on weather uh, expect an update from ld we're waiting in about uh, another in minute for one final check with weather we're going to check at okay, 2 17 copy. minutes, possibly. We don't really expect that things will have improved. Uh, the weather officer was not optimistic oh. that uh, the weather would clear up that rapidly. We did hear the What's launch director, the Mike Ta Taylor, here? joke that yeah. you know, if we uh, could down? move uh, 10 yeah. more minutes uh, past the T0, weather it? conditions may improve. But Mike was not able to do that. We have an instantaneous window today. So at 17 minutes, we want to make that call because shortly after that, we will begin loading liquid oxygen onto the second stage. So if we're not going to have the opportunity to launch, the clock's going to run out. That. Stand by. We continue to violate a couple different weather rules that we now do not expect to clear in time to allow for a launch today. Oh, that no. Today's launch attempt, launch control, would end the launch auto sequence and proceed into the launch abort auto sequence, please. Our friend Kara, who's in Florida, has reporting started. on the weather in Florida is bad. I think they're going to kill it right now. I don't think they're going to do it today. And Dragon SpaceX, unfortunately, um, we are not going to launch today. No! no! Zero, zero launch scrub. <laughs> oh, I had so many fun facts. By that one zero zero, it was a good effort by the teams, and we understand. And we'll, oh my uh, meet you there. god. All day they prepared for this. We've All heard for call years. from the crew. They have been informed. <laughs> Launch director Mike Taylor uh, no has called way. a scrub for the day. And we got the feedback when uh, the Dragon team informed uh, Bob and Doug. They said we gave it a good try, that? but they understand. And uh, we are here to try another day. So right now we did uh, officially hold the clock. It looks like at T-minus 16 minutes, 54 seconds. The launch automatic sequence that controls the Falcon 9, the loading of propellants, the cycling of valves, that is also stopped. We now proceed into what is a normal scrub sequence for us. We practice this every launch. So now we move into safely taking the propellants, the pressurization gases back off the first and second stages. As things get into a safe configuration, then we will uh, disarm the escape system on Dragon, and we'll bring the crew access arm back around the uh, spacecraft. So right now, we got down to just inside 17 minutes. Nothing goes to the moon. The hardware was working very well on both Dragon and spacecraft. I had a document full of fun We had the fuel loading going on. We had liquid oxygen loading going on, everything but the second stage. And the weather just needed a little bit more time to clear the conditions. We oh, didn't have that man. time because we had an instantaneous window. And so with that, SpaceX launch director had to call upon the input from okay, weather. Dragon, had to call about the minutes. scrub Thank for you, the day buddy. per the safety rules that we have for this flight. So right now the team is undergoing the uh, 
post scrub operations on both Dragon uh, as well as Falcon 9 working with the range. No issues being reported right now as we start to go through that sequence. Everything looks good. And uh, Dan, uh, we had a, we had a good... Uh, All right, Joe, going, Joe, why don't you mute the, the video end, and then we'll, uh, we'll, you know, do we'll some look at it as uh, now we've had another... So we were going to live stream the launch as a surprise for everybody and do a little bit of uh, color commentary. But uh, as many of you just saw, the uh, Crew Dragon capsule launch from SpaceX with the two astronauts in it was just aborted due to weather. Uh, there's two ways to look at this. I'm disappointed. I can only imagine Elon and the rest of the SpaceX team, but it is for their safety. It is. Right? And so, like, the fact that these two men just got into a capsule, said goodbye to their families, and basically everyone's crossing their fingers and hoping that everything was done correctly so that they can get to space is pretty incredible. Like, the, the mentally what you're going through when it gets canceled is pretty... I know. I just look at them. It's all right. Well, they're strapped in. They're not going anywhere. Well, what, are they, what are they doing with their hands? <laughs> they're pressing buttons. Oh. Yeah. All right. So Paulina went and got a <laughs> bunch of fun facts I that we were going to read too out. Many fun facts. I think we're okay. Let, let's get some of the fun facts. What are some of the things that you uh, right. you went and researched for us to learn about SpaceX and the astronauts? Okay. So I read this book by Scott Kelly called Endurance, and it's about his year in space. I think he spent the most time out of anybody in space. Um, so he said that astronauts actually have some really weird rituals before they board the rocket um, to go to space. And uh, one involves having their entire bodies wiped down with alcohol wipes to kill germs. Another one is peeing on the right rear tire of the bus transporting space travelers to the launch pad. And some people, like the women, carry urine and just throw it on the tire. It's a really bizarre thing, but they do it. What do they, that's just- uh... They pee on the tire bus. Oh. Well, you never know <laughs> what happens. Tire, tire bus, All right. Tire. A successful flight would resurrect the U.S.'s ability to launch people into space. Nobody has been launched from the U.S. since 2011. We've been paying people $80 million a seat. Actually, $90 million. Oh, $90 million? Yeah. Even worse. Uh, but SpaceX, which is 18 years old, this was supposed to be the day. We were 17 <laughs> minutes away from them launching these two astronauts into space. You can see there on the left side of your screen, the massive rocket. Uh, I believe it would be the first reusable rocket uh, to ever launch people into space. Obviously though, uh, that was aborted due to weather. What other fun facts do you have? So uh, you know how it costs 90 million to get a seat in, uh, in Russia's rocket? Yes. SpaceX Crew Dragon is projected to cost 55 million and it can also fit more people. It can seat seven, whereas uh, the, so, how you say it? So, so use can only carry three people at a time. So that's the whole premise behind SpaceX, right? Is if you use reusable rockets, you can drastically reduce the cost of launches and therefore it's cheaper to launch. You can uh, send more people, you can send uh, higher payloads and more frequently, right? It's the whole whole yeah. benefit. And then uh, back in 2008, I think it's the last numbers that have been published, or at least that I've seen, uh, SpaceX did about $2 billion in revenue uh, through their launch uh, program. And they are the highest grossing or, or top line revenue uh, heavy rocket company. Uh, everyone else does less than they do. And mainly, even though they have a lower price point, it's because they can send people faster because of the reusable rockets. Yeah. It's pretty God, crazy, that right? That is so cool that we get a camera in there. That's so wild. Where are they? Yeah, but it's so sad. Are they up here or are they down here? They're, well, technically, uh, I believe it's at the top. Right, because okay. basically what happens is when they get shot, then the rocket falls yeah, away yeah, yeah. and it continues to propel them. Uh, but just imagine being them right now, sitting in there all day, mentally prepared to get shot into space. <laughs> shot and then you space. get tell, told 17 minutes beforehand, abort the mission because Guys, of weather. Did they say when they're going to retry? Isn't it this weekend? Uh, I don't know, but we can definitely find again. Somebody in the comments, if you can look it up. Either tomorrow or Saturday, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. What are, are there questions? If you guys ha want, we'll stay on for another 10 minutes or so. Put some questions in the, uh, in the comments and we'll do our best to answer as many as we can. But obviously, uh, incredibly disappointing uh, at the fact that um, we are not going to see the SpaceX launch. Uh, we will do our best to live stream when the launch is going to occur next. 
uh, maybe with a little bit n- more notice. Um, okay. uh, Saturday, Saturday at 3.22 p.m. Are we going to be back? We're going to space, baby. All right. Well, so it's going to happen. Should I save my fun facts for Saturday? I don't want to. All right. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. But, but we'll I save for say, Saturday. I will say one thing SpaceX Elon Musk said what? today. <laughs> He said, this is the culmination of a dream. This is a dream come true. In fact, it feels surreal. If you'd asked me when starting SpaceX, if this would happen, I'd be like 1% chance, 0.1% chance. So he really did not think he would reach this. Well, the the part that I saw earlier that uh, blew my mind was at one point they asked him something uh, about the families. And he basically was like, I spoke with them and I told them I've done everything I possibly can to make sure you see your dads again. Wow. Right. And and it's just like, uh, these people at SpaceX, Elon, all the way down, they really, really care about the safety of this. They understand the gravity of the situation, no pun intended. And they realize like, if they want this company to continue to thrive, they have to safely get these two men to the international space station. Right. Wait, is he taking off his helmet? Oh my God, don't take your helmet off. Yeah, no, he's probably adjusting it. They, oh. they can't really do that much in there. I mean, he, so part of their uh, suit is literally like anchored into the seat. I don't, oh, I, no. I don't think that they oh. can necessarily get themselves out of there without help. Oh my God. Which is pretty wild. This makes right? me so nervous. Also, what are they pre- like? What are they asking them? What are they pressing? What's going on? I don't know, Joe. You want to turn back on the uh, audio here and uh, let's see if we can catch up to uh, what they're uh, doing. A bit more specific. We were still in violation of one of the weather criteria. It was the strength of electric fields in the atmosphere that uh, the 45th Space Wing and other weather operators are monitoring. That's why we stopped because of the strength of the, the electromagnetic fields and in and atmosphere. That's one of those rules where we need a certain amount of time if we're in a violation. In this case, nominal, roughly 50% on stage one locks and fuel. Not wind. 5% on rain. stage two fuel. Not sun or clouds. So the electromagnetic what I'm talking on continuing to go well. Uh, but we needed a little bit more time if we were going to be able to clear that launch weather constraint. Right, what and since we do have an instantaneous launch window today, we weren't able to make it. So we hope for better weather coming married. up on Everyone Saturday, relaxed. where again, our next launch attempt is going to be at 3.22 p.m. Eastern time. And we'll be able to go through everything. I mean, we Favorite we books. saw them get suited up. They had a great ride out to no, the pad. The hard thing about All hard of their things. Their initial checks on both the suits one. with pressure those checks, and communication books, checks Probably went others, well. Able to sure. get the Dragon hatch closed, the launch escape system arm, and Falcon 9 started its fueling. Just not able to make a good weather window today. John Carrow. And as John I said earlier, it was just another great <laughs> rehearsal today. Um, I don't think you can get. Do you, do you uh, want to know why they canceled it? Doing this, so it was when Carol Saturday comes or when we, the day Baskin. that we can actually launch the vehicle, Bob and Doug and Joe. the NASA and SpaceX team are fully Joe? Oh, prepared. Joe, Joe with uh, just an Joe extra Clokin rehearsal on the works belt with now. Works <laughs> and I and is running and that, all of the lunch money videos. Our countdown, the weather is a lot more complex when we're launching humans. The one who is the magician, the you wizard, more who got his live stream uh, requirements in place, uh, uh, not only around the pad, the but uh, in the case the of time. So this launch today, we're also looking at weather the entire ascent corridor, as we call it. So basically the entire way that they were flying up the east coast of the united states in this launch today we're know, monitoring that weather i have no idea how long it areas takes, that if they have know, an ascent abort or they don't have a basically choice. dragon firing off of the falcon themselves. 9 they're while they're flying into space uh, we have to make sure that conditions yeah, are good in the sea days. states around those areas just so they're not going to be landing my favorite in the middle of a hurricane is, which we did have a tropical part, storm uh, forming right <laughs> off the that, coast uh, uh, of south carolina to today just to station, help complicate things a little bit <laughs> and people might be asking if we knew the weather crazy. was going to be a little iffy today why <laughs> you, continue you to count down to um, well that is the reason the why we do all these checks all the way to count down uh in florida the weather is you know right, pretty Joe, sporadic sometimes a thunder Storm or hurricane will pass. Wait, what's your question? Sorry, guys, I'm really concerned. How do they eat for two days? Uh, my guess is that they have some sort of um, oh, they can li- like- liquid, little liquid thing that they like uh, that sits in there, and then they can just go ahead and uh, drink out of it. Wow, I'm sure. I mean, they're not obviously going to be opening up their little uh, space helmets. Really? Yeah. I feel like at some point maybe it's safe. I'm fascinated <laughs> by all of this. This is crazy. I love. Um, I actually. 
right around 2011 or before then, I don't know, uh, my dad and I, we went to Florida to that, what is it called? Fort, what is it? Where they launch Kennedy Center? Kennedy Center yeah. or uh, uh, Carnaval or uh, whatever? Yeah, it was one Cape of Cape Carnaval? But anyway, we went to watch a launch of some sort and it was also canceled because of the weather. Really upsetting. Yeah, I mean, this is super disappointing, but like, uh, today I, I tweeted and I said, a lot of people forget that SpaceX is, I think it was the first two or three launches failed. And then they had a successful one. And Elon's, you know, on record as saying, if that one hadn't worked, then they would have never, um, never had a company. And so that's pretty crazy. Uh, people are saying, can I repeat the books? Uh, somebody asked, what are, uh, our favorite books in technology or business? Um, I said that the hard thing about hard things by Ben Horowitz is a great one. And then zero to one by uh, Peter Thiel is another great and one. And I said bad blood on what not to do. <laughs> Cape Canaveral. Yeah. Cape Canaveral. That's what I was trying to say. Ryan Pittman, stop laughing at me, but yes, I was trying to say Cape Canaveral. Oh, somebody can see. Uh, oh, somebody can see the launch. So, all right, guys, listen, I don't want to waste a bunch of time now. 15 minutes of fun all to be ruined so, spacex 17 minutes away from the uh the launch time we're 17 minutes away bob and doug at it again on saturday that's fine but we will be back maybe we'll stream for a couple of hours on saturday yeah. and we can hang out and talk and just chill what are we going to talk about for several hours saturday is the day when we have cheat meals we're going to order dominoes we're going to drink beers and we're going to watch elon musk send two people to space to get America back to launching manned aircraft. Let's go. It's going to be awesome. All if right. You, if you could launch me into space, would you? No. Oh, good. I'd launch myself so I could get away from you. <laughs> <laughs> that was a trap, ladies and gentlemen. That was a trap. Yeah, that was a trap. So, all right. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. We'll go live on Saturday and we'll stream the whole thing. Uh, like the video, I guess, leave us some comments. Uh, sorry for the disappointment. Not really our fault. It was the electromagnetic <laughs> fields in the atmosphere. They were just too overpowering today. And so we will, uh, we'll talk to you guys on Saturday. Beers, pizza, and rockets, beers baby. And rockets. No beer, pizza, and rockets. <gasps> Don't forget the pizza. The pizza is the most important part. Okay. Beer, Bud lights, Got pizza, it. and rockets. See you guys. <laughs> I'm